And in what the superintendent calls optimizing Jackson Public Schools, he talks about staff, the decline in enrollment, and of course, the closure of schools. All of this, again, to optimize the district and make them a better competitor. Now, JPS superintendent Dr. Eric Green says enrollment has declined an average 4% or more each year over the past several years, saying enrollment decline has been even steeper in elementary grades. He adds that in smaller schools with less students, it also costs more to operate than those with more students. For as long as they're there, we need to be investing in those buildings like we are right now. <laughs> right today, <laughs> we're investing in some of the buildings that we have, that we're recommending that we close. Why? Because there are people in those buildings. That's also why we need to make these decisions now so we can stop investing in those buildings and divert those funds to other buildings. With this to consider, Dr. Green and his team proposed a JPS optimization plan, and there's a number of schools they recommend should close come 2024, and they're listed on your screen. Asterisks are on both Obama and Wells APAC, meaning that they would co-locate or move in with their feeder middle schools. And with that, they also drafted changes to feeder patterns. Now, this is a lot to take in, I know that, but it is important to note that these are just plans and nothing is official just yet. Of course, as we learn more details, be sure to keep you updated. Live in Jackson, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT.